Hello everyone, welcome to DA College video. My name is Yalda. Today I have some expressions for book readers and book lovers. So it means that we are just like, um, we are learning some expressions that you can see books or reading in it. It's for everyone, but so I just say for it's just like maybe book readers really enjoy it. Uh, first one, a closed book. A closed book, so you're just like referring to a person or a thing that uh, you don't know much about, right? Uh, so you can say, for example, John is a closed book. Nobody knows anything about him, right? So probably he's so reserved, so you don't know anything about him. So you don't have any information about him, right? So he's a closed book. Next one, book smart. Book smart? Um, you just use it for people that they just like acquire their knowledge from books and reading and studying, but they don't have common sense, right? So you can say, he is a book smart, but he has no common sense, right? So this is something that you may acquire socially, right? So having um, common sense. So don't be a book smart, right? In my book, in my book means in my personal opinion, okay? So despite, you know, just like, every, just like what everybody says about John, in my book, he is a nice guy. It means in my personal opinion, he's a nice guy. In my book. Okay, next one. To read between the lines, it means just that uh, you understand something. Maybe somebody just doesn't tell you something directly, but you just uh, find out something from the implied meaning, right? So you just like to read between the lines. Maybe they don't just like tell you something directly, or for example, you're reading something, but just like they don't mention anything exactly in there. So some information is not mentioned directly in that text, but you read between the lines from the other information that you have, you understand what they mean. Okay, next one to take something as read. Um, so, you know, just like some people, they believe everything without um, just like discussing it or just like making sure that it is true. They just take it as read. So you have to be careful around these people because whatever you say, they assume is true. Okay, so they didn't do any research or they don't discuss it. They just say, oh, that's true. So they just believe it. So to take something as read. She takes everything as read. So you have to be careful what you're saying around her. The other expression, to bring someone to book. It means um, penalize or punish someone by bringing up uh, attention, right, to their bad decisions or bad behavior. So you can say, Chris brought to book Ethan's bad decision. It means just like by bringing up what he did, okay, about just like his bad decision, right? So you just like punish someone, punish Ethan's, for example. Do you read me? It means, do you understand me? If I tell you, do you read me? It means, do you understand me? Crack a book or crack a book open, it means start studying. If you crack a book and study for your test, you will get a good mark. Okay, so crack a book open or crack a book, you can say. It means start studying. Take a leaf out of someone's book. It means just copying someone, so it's just like copying what someone did because she or he was really successful at what she was doing or what he was doing. So you can say, take a leaf, oh, I forgot the year, sorry. Take a leaf out of someone's book, right? Okay, copying someone, 
because that person is really successful at the, for example, in what he was doing, what she was doing. So if you take a lift out of his book or her book, so probably, so you'll be successful too. So you're copying what she was doing. The oldest trick in the book. It means a trick is so predictable, right? That you know what's going on. So you say, okay, so this is the oldest trick in the book. So does he really think that I believe that he can lift that heavy thing? So I don't believe him, right? That's the oldest trick in the book. It means so predictable, right? So just like, I know that that's not true. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Try to use these expressions next time that you're um, talking to people instead of just like saying, just uh, and using um, ordinary verbs. Okay, so try to use this and you will see step by step, you will sound like native speakers. Thank you for watching this. See you in the next lesson.